A scuffle at the ballpark. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. And I'm Morgan Lentis. Tonight, 18-year-old Bradley Elkins faces an assault charge following a fight during a baseball game. Some call it a case of smack talk gone too far. We've received exclusive video of the punch at Pike Central High School that prosecutors say turned the incident into a felony. WIMT's Tanner Hesterberg talked to school officials about the case. He joins us now live from Pike County. Tanner. Stephen Morgan school officials call it very uncharacteristic behavior on the part of Brad Elkins. He was playing shortstop for the Hawks baseball team last night against Lawrence County when he was ejected for throwing a punch. And unfortunately for Elkins, it was caught on tape. <laughs> ah. oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Video appears to show Pike Central's Brad Elkins punching a Lawrence County base runner, knocking him to the ground. Lawrence County school officials say the player went to the hospital to be treated for his injuries. And Wednesday, the player's father decided to file a charge against Elkins. This is different than just your typical average uh, ball game fracas spat uh, that we see sometimes. Uh, this crosses the line into criminal behavior. Pike Central baseball coach Chris Lawson says Elkins has always played with passion, but never lost his temper like he did Tuesday night. Apologized to me. He apologized to his teammates. He's apologized to the administration here at Pike Central. Uh, he's remorseful for his actions. Of course, he wishes it hadn't happened. Um, it's a mistake, you know, and, and unfortunately, he's having to deal with it right now. Elkins has the catch. Elkins stays on his feet. Elkins is a three-sport star for the Hawks, someone school officials point to as a model student athlete prior to this incident. He's an outstanding student athlete here at our school. He plays all three sports, uh, just been a role model for our students. And, you know, and it was a big district rival, and, and not that we condone what happened, but I think in the, in the battle sometimes, you know, he lost his composure and he made a, a, a bad mistake. A mistake that may cost him more than losing the game. Lawrence County won that game last night 9 to 5. It was called off after the ejection and subsequent fallout. Elkins was arrested today on a second degree assault charge. He bonded out of jail and school officials tell me that later this month Lawrence County the baseball team will return here to Pike Central for the district tournament and they plan on having a presence from the Pike County Sheriff's Office here at the ballpark. We'll have much more on this story coming up tonight on Mountain News at 11. But for now, reporting live in Pike County, Tanner Hesterberg, WYMT Mountain News. All right, Tanner, thank you. Now, we also reached out today to Lawrence County Superintendent Robbie Fletcher. He says they are aware of the situation and contacted KHSAA officials. He would not comment further. The baseball coach there tells us the 17-year-old victim did not receive any broken bones and returned home last night. Now, Elkins signed recently to play football at Union College in Barberville. Officials there say in part, quote, we plan to monitor the situation closely as all the the facts and details emerge. Once the process is complete, appropriate disciplinary actions will be taken.